Hello, welcome back. I'm kind of a hot mess right now. I just got back from town, so I have staticky coat hair because it's freezing out. It was a very balmy minus four degrees while I did this grocery shopping today. So I thought I would share with you, I did Sam's and Walmart today. So let's take a look. Okay, first thing I'm going to start with right here. Now, I didn't buy these, but these are the little mini Papa Murphy's, like, kids pizzas. Like, pizza kits. And you can actually get these for free from your library for reading books. So, I had some of those that my kids have read up. And I just haven't gone in to use them. And I just have my two littles are home with me tonight. And I thought, how fun would it be for us to make pizza kits? So I picked those up. Then I went to Sam's. And what I always get at Sam's is I like their frozen vegetables. Usually I get plain broccoli. This time I just got like a broccoli Normandy mix. So it's cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots. And I always like to have one of these on hand for whatever meal you're making, you always can have veg to go with it. And it's always really fresh. Then I always get a big bag of shredded cheese. We actually go through this quite a bit. So I like the Monterey and the Colby Jack, or the Col, let's see, Colby and Monterey Jack blend is my favorite. And this has become by far my favorite round dressing. I have been on a kick to find one that does not have MSG in it that tastes good. And so far, this has been the winner. I've only found this, this particular lighthouse from Sam's is the one I love. Um, also, Richesery Chickens. I, you just, they're the best. I have decided I will never cook a chicken again because for $5, I can get a whole roasted chicken that tastes amazing. It's not worth my time to buy or make or cook a chicken when I can get one for $5. Um, this is kind of example of veg that I always keep on hand. I always have celery, um, carrots. I will actually peel this entire bag and cut them into carrot sticks and put them in the fridge and they actually last a really long time and I will keep them to eat fresh or then I just quick chop up for other things. So I will, that's what I'll do with that. Same with this, is I'll cut these down into like half sticks and put them in the fridge in a container and that way we just eat it faster if it's ready to go. These long sweet peppers are my favorite. I actually prefer these to the tiny sweet peppers. And they are actually a little tiny bit cheaper per pound if you buy these long ones. I just find it easier to like wash and cut and dice up like one or two of these than trying to dice up a ton of those little tiny ones. And they taste the same. Also, right now, our family likes spinach in our salad. I'm actually not the hugest lettuce fan when it comes to salad. I like to use spinach or coleslaw as salad. Those are my two salad preferences. Um, bananas, because you always need bananas. Um, now, a couple of these things are stock up stuff that I don't buy often. In fact, I probably only buy these some of these things like every six months. So this is um, dishwasher tabs, and seriously, I think like every six months I buy these because I don't run my dishwasher every day, and no more than once a day. So. This will last me a really long time. And it was a dollar off. So, and then same with these disinfectant wipes. I only use those for, like, cleaning the toilets. 
just it's easier it's convenient I have a house full of boys you know what that's like plus my kids help me clean bathrooms and so just disinfectant wipes for that is a lot easier so that will last a really long time and then also baby wipes and a great deal at Sam's and they last forever I think this is only the third one I've bought since my daughter's been alive she's over a year and a half so again that one is going to last me a long time and it looks like they have actually pretty good ingredients or not too bad and I like the fragrance free ones <clears throat> Um, Crisco, I don't use this often, but I like to buy it at Sam's. I use it mostly for making pies, and I'm going to be putting a bunch of pies in the freezer. So I just got a big one of those. I'm almost out. And again, these go-go squeezes, it's mostly for convenience. I have a year and a half year old, and it's just simpler for these. Um, I won't, I don't use them often. I don't use them a lot, but they're just nice for town. Like my older kids for their school lunches, I'll just put applesauce in a container for them. And that's simple, but for the baby, it is nice. And then I also got laundry soap because big family you always need that. And then my last thing I got at Sam's is actually these magnetiles. Now, this is his birthday present that's coming up, that we've got a birthday coming up in our family. But last summer, I bought these when they had them. It actually was a 100-piece set. This one's a little bit smaller. Amazing. The quality is fantastic. The They're very, very similar to actual magnetiles, and the price is amazing. This is 60 pieces for $20. It's really a great deal. I've been really happy with these and we've been wanting another set because my kids play with these almost every single day and they are expensive to find them online or not even online but actual magnetiles are expensive and then the cheaper ones the quality is not always there but these ones are amazing so I'm really excited to get those. Those are going to be a birthday present and they are going to be well loved. So next I'm going to switch over to Walmart. So I got a whole bunch of sauerkraut. We've been on a really big sauerkraut kick. It's just good with everything. We love sauerkraut in this family. I'm out, almost out completely a pasta. So I just took a variety of pastas to have on hand. No real plan for those, just to have them. Big thing of eggs. Thing of yogurt. I like the yogurt for um, school lunches. Back here. This cereal is for the baby to have and like just to snack on. And then, okay, have you guys had these so these are the Nature Valley, sweet and salty, but they're mini, and they're actually not all that tiny. They're probably about like this. It is the perfect size for my first grader. For lunch, some of those bigger ones can get to be like a lot, and they are kind of sweet, so it's like gets to be a lot. These are the perfect size. I really like these. And you get 20 bars in here. So it goes a long ways. Um, just plain old kitchen bags. That's what I use, the cheapy kind. Then we've got a birthday coming up. Look at these fun sprinkles. They're so fun. So I'm just starting to get stuff ready for cupcakes and stuff. That's what those are. These are just because you need muffin tins always. Um, I got a couple beef smoked sausages. These go really good with the sauerkraut. Then for myself, I grabbed some chicken and herb breakfast sausages. Um, and then 
this I am trying. I've never had this before. This isn't something I would have often, but I currently am grain free. And since my kids were having a little pizza night tonight, they're going to be making their little pizzas. I thought it would be fun to have pizza with them. So I'm going to try this one. I like Udi's brand for their gluten-free stuff. I haven't tried their grain-free stuff. It says it has sweet potato crust. I like sweet potato. Barbecue flavored chicken pizza. Sounds good. I'll give it a try. Cuties, because you have to. Then, guys, if you are not checking out your Walmart clearance, you're missing out. Because you might find amazing deals. I grabbed this. This is a collagen fruit and veg blend. So it's flavored. I think it's blueberry. But I like to take collagen. And do you see that price? It was eleven eighty eight, dollars And now it is $2.50. So I'm going to give that up for $2.50. I'll try that. For eleven eighty eight, dollars probably might not risk it. $2.50, yes. Also, I found some more of these pouches, 50 cents for four. I hope they like these. I don't know, but for that price, so I got four boxes. And then, this is just a treat, but it's one dollar. Um, something I definitely wouldn't buy, but it was a dollar. I'll try it, and look. It's very much in date. So this stuff isn't like gross and outdated. So I'm excited about that. Also, I did quick run into Natural Grocer again. If you are not going there merely to check out on their clearance stuff, you are missing out because they are amazing about clearancing out their stuff before it goes completely either outdated or close to dated they just mark it all down 50 percent so it sells and i really appreciate that because you're not wasting food and you can get great deals so i just went in there and grabbed these two things mostly to fill the lunch um snack container but these crunch love like normally they're 439 and got them for 220 i love this brand love this flavor it's um, but I'm not eating those right now because I'm not eating grain, which is probably a good thing because I would have already snacked on those. But then these are really tasty and these are grain free. They're made with almond flour. So good. I already, let's see, this box already got opened in town and we snacked on them. But two seventy five, dollars and each little bag, there's six snacks. Each little bag actually had quite a bit in it. So these were definitely a good deal. Oh, and I had one more Walmart thing, just picking up some cups for the birthday party. And there it is, all that delicious looking food that needs to get put away now. So hope you enjoy this haul. How does this compared to your grocery haul. Is it similar? Is it different? Um, are some of our stock up things the same? It's always, I don't know why, but I love watching grocery hauls. I think it's so fun to see what people are buying, especially depending on their region, their um, lifestyle, family size. It's always fun to see. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time.